So I moved recently. Uh, you know, I love where I live, but I recently relocated in the Southern California area. And when you move, you get excited, and then you find out about the crime in your neighborhood. And, uh, you know, I found out about it, and I have a son. He's 10 years old. And he said, Dad, well, what would you do if somebody broke into our house? And I said, don't you worry about it, buddy. Dad's got a plan. You might want to get a plan, too. <laughs> So there's a little bit of unsettled feeling in the neighborhood, right? There's some crime, and the men got together and started murmuring, but hey, I think we need to get guns. Now, I know this is the United States of America, right? We have the Second Amendment. Everybody has the right to bear arms, right? Second Amendment, everybody has the right to bear arms. But it really depends on what state you live in, how that happens, right? Because in California, we have the home invasion law. If somebody breaks into your house, you can legally shoot them. In Texas, it's called the home invitation law. <laughs> You can actually invite people over to your house just to shoot them, but that's Texas. <laughs> I think it's called Second Amendment Plus is what they have there now. <laughs> but here's my theory on home defense. If you are a gun owner and you know how to use the gun, thank you. Thank you. The problem is I have male friends who buy weapons. They've never touched the gun before in their life. They've never fired it. But they believe in the middle of the night that gun is going to magically transform them into the Call of Duty legend they were born to be. <laughs> Do you really believe when the moment of truth strikes, you're going to stagger out of bed in your tidy whities grab a weapon you've never fired before, shoot down the hallway, calm, cool, and collected with your perfect movie sound mind, and go, shh, buenos noches, cupcake. <laughs> I don't own a gun. If somebody breaks into my house and I hear, Ch -ch -ch, that's my spine and sphincter saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> now, for the record, I'm not anti-gun. I'm not anti-gun. I'm just pro baseball bat. That's how I do it. Yes! Where are my baseball bat defenders of freedom out there? Absolutely! The baseball bat could be the perfect home defenseman because guess what? Any idiot in this room can swing a baseball bat because you don't have to be baseball good to defend your home, do you? No, you do not. You just have to be pinata good is all you have to be. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the bigger spaz you are, the deadlier you appear. a dangerous weapon. You could handle a gun and accidentally shoot yourself, but no one has ever cleaned a baseball bat and accidentally beat themselves to death. <laughs> and if that does happen, that's an acceptable loss. <laughs> yeah, look at that now! <laughs> uh, I love you. You're such a kind ruby. Like, no, he's right. Let them go. Good for you. <laughs> I am a kind man at heart. I am a kind man at heart.